Have you been suffering from menstrual discomfort in the recent past? Don't worry about it. Today I am going to show you 10 powerful tips that will show you exactly how to deal with menstrual discomfort starting right now. Hi, it's Vikram. Welcome to Sex Guru. On this channel, we are dedicated to teaching you all of the sex and relationship tips you need to have an amazing sex life and a fulfilling relationship. So if you're new here, start now by hitting the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss anything. It's that time of the month again and now you are experiencing some form of menstrual discomfort. And the thing is today most women suffer from some form of menstrual discomfort. There's no denying that there is a significant increase in the number of cases that doctors see today in terms of some form of menstrual issue. Most of the time you will find that menstrual difficulty is not due to your fault but but something that is just abnormal with your system and this is primarily due to a variety of chemical changes that happen as a result of being a female and to help combat that here I am today to share with you 10 tips that are going to allow you to effectively deal in more or less a natural way with all of this menstrual discomfort that you have been suffering with for so long understand that oligomenorrhea amenorrhea dysmenorrhea premenstrual syndrome or premenstrual dysphoric disorder, any form of menstrual discomfort that you may be currently facing has to be diagnosed by a professional and in this case a gynecologist. So if you haven't gotten yourself checked already, make sure that you do and then incorporate all of these tips into whatever plan that they prescribe and that will allow you to truly manage your menstrual discomfort in an effective way. Keep in mind that you can follow a cafeteria approach with regard to each one of these tips. Apply some of them that are specific to you or your problem or even go about applying all of them and then try which one works best for you. Each one of these methods are designed to help improve your outlook towards menstruation on the whole, enhance your comfort and improve your overall quality of health. So without any more waiting, let's jump into all 10 of those tips that are going to help you handle that menstrual discomfort effectively. The first thing is don't blame yourself. Menstrual syndromes were first associated with some form of hysterical behavior that women used to exhibit. And that's complete nonsense. Menstrual problems in a large part occur because of chemical changes that happen in the brain and in the body. So there's really no point in blaming yourself if you've done it before. Now, although the exact cause of menstrual discomfort has not been completely understood, it's important for you to know that the hysterical behavior that you may or may not exhibit is not entirely your fault. So never blame yourself. It's just a natural part of who you are. Tip number two, make sure you keep a menstrual calendar in place. This will allow you to systematically observe whenever you are having your complete menstrual cycle, where are there irregularities and ultimately identify patterns that are specific to you. Once you have this laid out on a piece of paper, it becomes much easier for you as well as your treating professional to understand what exactly you're suffering with with regard to your menstrual discomfort and a specific plan can be drawn out in the process. Number three, once you have laid out and understood that this is when I am having the most amount of discomfort, do the things on those days that give you the most pleasure and cause you the least stress. I don't really have to tell you that most women who suffer menstrual discomfort have it on specific days where their hormones go all out of whack and then their body literally drives them crazy. So on those specific days, make sure that you are comfortable, keep yourself cool, hydrated and of course that you do something that you find fun. Go out for a movie, chill with a friend or just relax and sleep at home. Number four, do you have any self-defeating attitudes regarding menstruation? Get rid of them. 
most women if brought up in the wrong cultural atmosphere where menstruation is seen as a bad thing as some sort of bodily pollution or it's just not a clean thing or a natural thing to happen it's important to get rid of all of that stuff from your mind so perform a small analysis of your own self and see whether these self defeating attitudes or negative outlooks towards menstruation are affecting you understand this from a scientific point of view menstruation and menstrual discomfort are quite common things and it is something that can be dealt with and it is quite natural to have it so anyone who is making you feel down or causing you to feel like this is not really a normal thing don't let their attitude rub on to you Number 5 if you haven't done it already as i've already mentioned you need to go and see a doctor often menstrual discomfort can be associated with another underlying condition like endometriosis or pelvic inflammatory disease you definitely want to have yourself checked out and then be diagnosed whether you have something that is of a more serious concern or is just something that's on your mind number 6 develop healthy eating habits if you haven't already unfortunately today we lead more or less unhealthy lives and if you are suffering from menstrual discomfort you need to understand that what goes in is going to cause some amount of discomfort down here if you're eating the wrong stuff focus on having those greens having those vegetables having those fibrous elements that are going to allow digestion to become that much easier avoid as much as possible caffeine alcohol fats sweets and salts if you avoid all of this prior to the onset of menstruation you are more likely to have less menstrual discomfort and this is an important one number 7 Make sure that you have smaller meals or nutritious snacks divided across the day versus having three large meals that most people typically eat and that will allow you to reduce that feeling of uncomfortableness or uneasiness after a meal. Number 8 exercise Research has identified that women who do exercise have significantly less problems associated with both premenstrual and menstrual discomfort. So if you haven't already incorporated some form of exercise into your routine to a point where you may be walking, jogging, bicycling, playing some sport, dancing or doing whatever allows you to get in that workout so that you can do it on a regular basis. And if you do it long enough enough that will become a lifestyle that will allow you to avoid so many of the other menstrual problems that you may be suffering from right now number 9 supplements research has identified that there are some vitamin and mineral supplements that can help you deal with menstrual discomfort specifically calcium magnesium and vitamin b6 However, before you jump into self-medication, make sure you check with your doctor and have them prescribe that stuff to you before taking any form of action yourself. Number 10, and probably the one that you may have been really suffering from like most women, but really want to seek some form of resolution. I'm talking of course about menstrual cramps menstrual cramps are one of those things that eat into your body and cause you to feel like you're being torn apart from the inside out and for that you really need to consult your doctor on specific drugs that you can take in order to deal with that particular menstrual difficulty that you're facing right now i'm talking about painkillers anti anxiety drugs and anti depressants you need to go in for a medical checkup to deal with each one of your specific menstrual difficulties so that it comes together and allows you to deal with your specific problem in a more effective way which brings me to the bonus tip that i want to leave you with and make you understand that Menstrual problems are time limited and you need to get that into your head. It's not a long drawn elaborate thing that you need to stress over all the time. Yes, it is discomfort. Yes, it is something that you have to deal with, but breaking your head over it and making it feel like a curse 
is more or less going to hold you back from achieving your true potential. So just look at it as something that you have to deal with for a few days versus an entire ordeal that it may seem like over a long length of time. Do this much, apply all of these 10 tips or a few of them, let me know how they help you out comment down below and tell me how this helps you. If you found this video useful, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and watch all of the content that I have coming out for you specifically related to female sexual problems. I want to really sit down and address this topic in a much more broader sense and I want to know what problems you are suffering from. So comment down below and let me know and I'll probably make a video about it if I receive enough queries. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe, hit bell notifications and watch all of the content that I am putting out for you in order to help make your sex life and your relationship amazing. This is Vikram signing off and I'll see you in the next session.